Let me set you up here. Happy Vlogmas Day 22, guys. I made it this far. <laughs> Honestly, amazing. I didn't get to upload a Vlogmas 21, but believe me, I I actually shot a Vlogmas 21 video. I feel like being on camera helps me just, you know, calm down. Happy Vlogmas Day 21. I never bothered uploading the video because it was just... It was just a lot going on. <laughs> it's normalized mental breakdowns. I did try, but you know, I just wanted to be a little realistic that everything in life isn't always just, oh, happy, happy, happy days. I'm just trying to say that I just wouldn't think it's it would be too realistic if the whole 24 days of my vlogmas was just of me being happy, carefree. Just wanted to show that there's also still like a realistic part in my life where I'm not always happy. <laughs> it's not always going to be a happy day despite the festive season. I mean, I think I mentioned this in my, one of my last vlogs that even though I really do enjoy this time of the year, it's also it's also one of the most difficult times of the year because... I've, obviously I'm not with my family so I just wanted to put that out there that it's normal to not be happy everyone can't you know that's just life to get out of that spunk I really just try to keep myself busy I make sure I get up out of bed because there are times that you know I will just want to just stay in bed and wallow in my sorrows <laughs> Even just making the bed in the morning it already lifts up my spirit. I just I just have like a specific morning routine that I like to do to get me out of whatever spunk I have whenever I wake up feeling a little heavy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I make sure to uh, take care of my plants, spritz my pr plants with water because th they're they're my babies and they keep me happy so i want them to be happy and healthy i really did try to edit the vlog but it just i, I couldn't i tried to do a makeup tutorial but I, I wasn't even happy with what i was doing oh it's really windy outside but yeah i also did life i also did like a 40 minute yoga workout <laughs> which really made me tired for the rest of the day but i always enjoy doing that it helps clear my mind balance my emotions <laughs> i don't know it's just a very calming thing despite feeling completely worn out after i really just try to give myself a good routine every time i finish working out that's also when i enjoy having my me time of doing my skincare and once i'm done with my skincare i tidy up some of the places in the house and so i can enjoy my breakfast <laughs> I actually had um, breakfast while watching the first episode of Emily in Paris. Although I, I don't think I got to finish that one episode. Managed to get myself into the, a Christmassy mood by changing one of the letterboard coats. I realized I hadn't changed it since last since Thanksgiving. So I just put a little coat there to remind me to keep our days merry and bright. You know, not just not to dwell on the on any negative thoughts and to be thankful for what i have uh to be thankful for good health to be thankful for knowing that my family is safe i feel like that's all that matters despite the distance we're all in a way still here for each other but yeah i feel like that's something i'm never gonna get used to i mean it's my second year here in the states and I've celebrated Christmas with my whole family for the last 20, 26 years. And so the last two years have just been something that I've still been adjusting to. I'm always going to be adjusting to. But yeah, I just wanted to say that it's normal to have um, really down, downward spiraling days. You know, just accept the sadness. And also a good reminder, even to myself, is to talk it out. 
not with not just with yourself but you know if you have someone you really trust or even with your family just just really voice out your emotions because that's just gonna well to me personally personally that just helps me vent out all of this pent-up emotion all of this all of this feeling that i have inside that isn't really necessary because in the end i still have my family and i'd still eventually see them in the future but it's just this is just this is just how it is gonna be for now <laughs> that's just a reminder to myself towards the end of the day today i'm just gonna add like a little vlog clip that nell took while we were driving on the way to his parents we out here it's day 22 of vlogmas here i have my driver a driver i thought you were gonna wife. say wife oh there's humans there oh you're shy it's so cold it is quite brisk the outside they just walked to the mailbox probably freezing their butts off and here we are in this it's still cold in this car so here today we are going to be going on our wonderful travels to mara's in-law <laughs> aka my parents and so here we are going to go on these wonderful travels up the mount of the poconos yes. and hopefully we don't die and that's it for now we're gonna eat some sushi <laughs> at the end of the day i like to remind myself that despite being far away from my family i also have another family here that i really care about and i'm thankful to have that they're still showing me that hey you have family here and that you're creating your own new christmas traditions with us and that's just that's just life i guess like it just keeps going you keep creating new memories new traditions new things to be thankful for and that life just goes on it's just a constant reminder to myself to be grateful every single year for the things i have i never ever imagined i could possibly have so there's that at the end of the day i can push away all of these sad feelings and laugh and smile with my husband my family i was literally on a call with my mom earlier and that always just lifts my spirits <laughs> so like despite all of the negative feels the positivity all of the positive things that have been happening in my life weighs out all of the negative feelings yeah i think that's why I, I think that's what i'm trying to say is that by the end of the day it's nice to be able to just sit and reflect and take account of what i have to be grateful for um but that was vlogmas day 22 i feel like it was just a chill chillish day it's preparing me to relax for the, <laughs> the upcoming days because tomorrow nell and i will be prepping for christmas eve dinner with the family that we're hosting here at the house and christmas eve and christmas day will be he a hectic day in itself already so yeah this is vlogmas day 22 hope you enjoyed this vlog it's a little it's a little different from what i usually show but just wanted to show the more realistic side of things the realistic side of my thoughts so there's that happy vlogmas day 22 guys three more days till christmas and um we're almost there. I'm gonna go now. Bye.